I remember the first time I carried to the mall or to the movies. I have to be quite honest with you, at the time I felt a little silly. I remember thinking to myself, why am I sitting here in this movie theater with a gun on me? I hadn't carried a firearm up until that point my entire life. But now all of a sudden I'm in Nordstrom's dressing room trying to figure out where to put my Glock 19 while I'm trying on a pair of jeans. What changed about me? What sparked my desire all of a sudden to start carrying a firearm? Was it because somebody tried to rob me? Was I held up at gunpoint? Did something bad happen to a loved one? For me, it was none of that. I didn't change. Nothing about me changed. What changed was my understanding of the world. As I grew older, I started to understand and realize that there are some stone cold evil people in this world who have absolutely no remorse for the evil things that they do. Then I learned that there are some crazy people in the world who don't understand the evil that they do, but they do them nonetheless. Then there were people who simply saw committing evil as a means to an end. At the end of the day, each of these individuals had one thing in common. They each went against my desire for self-preservation. The way I saw it, I could do one of several things to protect myself against these type of people. I could pray daily for God's protection. I could stay alert and be aware so as to see the evil coming in enough time to possibly do something about it. I could simply avoid high-risk situations and places. I could learn a martial art. I could have the police on speed dial so that I can call them at a moment's notice. Or I can carry some form of lethal or non-lethal weapon that I can use to defend myself when need be. See, the beautiful thing about these options is that none of these options are mutually exclusive. I can pray. I can avoid high-risk situations and areas. I can have the police on speed dial, learn a martial art, carry lethal or non-lethal weapons all at the same time and live my life with the most minor of inconveniences. When a situation arises that requires me to use lethal force to defend my life or the life of somebody else that I love, in my eyes I see the gun as the most effective tool by which to administer that type of defense. Because as effectively as a gun can kill, it can also defend. Overall, the mitigated factor behind the use of a gun is the person using the gun. I don't carry a gun because I live in total fear of what might happen. Sure, there is some level of fear, but it isn't total fear. At the end of the day, it's, a, it's more about me being in control of my own self-preservation. In my eyes, the gun isn't the end-all be-all when it comes to protecting my life from a violent attack. But it does give me the option to effectively fight when running away isn't an option. The world can be an evil place, but for the most part it's a beautiful place, and we should all want to keep it that way. This is why I carry. Why do you?